Welcome to the um, end of the month uh, tournament for February 2017 at the Avalanche uh, Bar and Grill. The uh, end of the month tournament's 8-ball is sponsored by the Comox Valley Pool League. And uh, we have some B-side action here. Um, it's uh, Jim Brown versus um, Peter Sue. Race to three. Jim Brown is currently the number one ranked uh, player in the uh, Valley, uh, in the Comox Valley League. Uh, 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 maybe 10 ERO's and eight first attempts and a very high average of around 84% uh, I believe. A uh, very, very strong player. Um, anyways, uh, uh, he's on the B side now, uh, due to the current flux of very strong players from uh, Nanaimo, um, Canberra River, uh, Port Alberni, and as far away as Victoria. So the uh, competition is very tough tonight, and uh, Jim is playing Peter Sue. Um, uh, Peter Sue is uh, ranked number 14 in the Comox Valley League and uh, his uh, stat is pretty pathetic he's only got one first attempt and uh, one zip so um, is this a mismatch well um, we'll find out uh, so Peter um, is on high ball and the the only problem ball he has is on the bottom right rail uh, uh, it, it's screened by the six um, well Peter's gonna run out of ball soon uh, uh, he's, he's trying to break out the uh, his problem ball but to do to, to do that he pretty well have to uh, uh, go off that ball to uh, release it but uh, Peter decides to um, shoot straight which might be a mistake because now he's got two bad balls and uh, the, the other ball doesn't see a pocket anyway the only thing Peter can do is play safe so what Peter's gonna do is uh, do a very soft shot and push his ball closer towards Jim's pocket maybe he could try to uh, um, block the pocket with it later Peter says hi to uh, Richard Brokers who is watching the match uh, Jim to play and Jim plays a safety I believe uh, hooking Peter Peter has no shot. He cannot see the uh, the orange stripe ball, and Peter's making a comment, and uh, we don't know what he's saying. There's not enough space for the cue ball to go through into the rail, so that shot is. Well, it's pretty well ball in hand. So Peter will try to uh, kick into the trouble ball on the bottom right. The, uh, the ball is off the rail. He tells Jim that. So Peter's going to shoot into the top rail with top right. And hopefully the spin will... Yep, Peter did it. He hit the ball and the ball hit the rail so the shot is legal and Peter has freed his problem ball and Peter should is in a very good position to uh, win actually um, uh, assuming Jim gives him a shot so Jim is uh, might be in trouble But uh, Jim is such a good player, you can never tell. You can't count him out. You can give him a very bad layout and he'll do something with it. Uh, 
Jim does a safe safety. And Peter considers banking the uh, the ball. But uh, well, he chickens out. He decides to play safe. He, he'd much rather um, leave a ball over the pocket than risk um, having the uh, the ball go a wall. Peter announces his uh, shot. Safety. Jim has a cluster of very, very bad balls on the top end of the table and on the bottom. He misses, but he breaks out his uh, bad cluster. And worst of all, oh, Peter's really mad. Uh, uh, the five ball has now blocked his uh, pocket. There's nothing he can do. He's going to go for a breakout with bottom, heavy bottom. Ooh, well, no, he didn't do it. He broke it out, but not the way he wanted. Um, he's pretty well hooked himself on his stripe ball. He calls the top le left corner, but uh, it's a very, very difficult shot. Uh, Peter's lucky enough to hit his own ball, but uh, Jim has a runnable table now. Jim's been very patient, waited for those moments, and uh, now he's got an easy run out. It's only a matter of time, folks. Very nice shooting, very nice cue ball control. And Jim Brown takes game number one. The score is now one to zero for Jim. Peter to break. Peter is going to use the break that Greg Brown taught him. It looks more like a nine ball break. He's shooting from the uh, corner. Surprisingly, um, uh, it's very good for um, sinking balls. Uh, but, but the spread sometimes is... Uh, uh, there's no spread really, but... Um, uh, Peter has a runnable table. Can Peter run run this table? Probably not, but let's watch anyways. The only problem ball that might hurt Peter is the four ball, which is blocking the eights. Peter needs to uh, get the cue ball to see it. Uh, he also almost did it, but not quite. Peter still has a chance. He can uh, cut the uh, five in, and uh, the natural cue ball trajectory should free the uh, four ball for him. Very nice shot. Okay, here, 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 here's where things starting to go wrong. Um, well, Peter didn't quite get the right angle for the 8-ball. I mean, uh, the, the 6 is easy, easy enough to sink, but um, Peter has to uh, get the cue ball all the way down table. He, he didn't quite have an angle. Uh, he had to shoot the 6 full on, so 
the cue ball uh, didn't uh, move too much. Oh, Peter missed. Missed an easy shot. I think Peter's nerves got to him. Anyways, but uh, Jim doesn't have a really good shot either. Uh, he, he may have to play safe. Uh, looks like Jim's going to play safe. It's going to hide the cue ball and hook Peter. Can he do it? Oops, he might have shot too hard because Peter can't see the 8. But uh, Peter doesn't really have a shot. He can't bank or cut. The cut is to the angle is wrong. So what Peter's going to do is play safe. He's going to try to hide the uh, cue ball and uh, get the 8 ball to go over a pocket. Uh, Jim has a very tough shot. He's going to play safe again. Because if he try to um, sink a ball, he may not. He, he'll give Peter a shot. So he, Jim leaves the cue ball up table. Lots of distance. And uh, Peter does have a chance to cut. Peter calls the corner pocket. He's going to go for the cut. And the cut goes in. Peter takes the game. The score is now 1-1. One, one. Jump to break. Very nice break. Jim's got arms like tree trunks, so I guess he doesn't have to smash very hard to um, get balls to spread out and sink them. The uh, table looks uh, runnable. Jim's gonna go for a low ball. Firstly, I like high ball better, but who am I to say? I'm not the number one player in the league. Jim is. Jim's going for the six. And misses. Holy mackerel. And Peter run out. Peter has a good chance of running out. He's uh, mapping his uh, run out route already. Can he do it? Probably not. Okay, that's a good shot. Oh, uh, he'll have to. Uh, get rid of the orange stripe ball that's gonna be a problem for him uh, he, he's gonna put a lot, lot of right spin and kick into it I think unfortunately the cue ball hit uh, Jim's uh, four ball I think and uh, help Jim out. Uh, his, his bad balls don't look too bad anymore. Anyways, uh, Peter tries to kick out his orange stripe one. And uh, if, he, if, he, if Peter can get the nine into the side pocket, uh, things are going to be so rosy for him because his cue ball is going to go down table and see the orange stripe one. But Peter misses and uh, well Jim doesn't actually have a good shot here so he's gonna play safe 
uh, he, he needs to uh, rearrange his bad balls very nice shot Peter doesn't have a shot Peter decides to play safe uh, what, what Peter should have done in retrospect is uh, bank the ball so the ball goes down table this way he could um, have both balls in his sights um, should he get the chance to run but by leaving the, key, uh, the, the uh, his own ball near the top of the table that's going to cause him problems because sooner or later he has to uh, uh, get the cue ball to uh, go down uh, so in a retros retrospect this is a really weak shot Anyways, uh, okay, so even though Jim missed, Peter still doesn't have a good shot. Uh, really frustrating for him. Okay, so Peter decides to bank, bank the uh, nine ball and try to get the cue ball to uh, go down table. He, he, he really needs to uh, uh, hit the ball that's on the bottom of the table. It's uh, so heavily screened by Jim's balls. Um, oh, too bad. The cue ball didn't uh, get down table. No, Jim has a very good chance of running. Um, Jim's been very patient and uh, he has his chance to run. Very nicely done. Jim can see the six. And uh, Jim's bring himself, brings the cue ball down table to see the five or the two. Well, he got the five. Easy run out. Jim is the king of easy runouts. Very nice uh, cue ball control, very nice weight. Jim takes uh, game number two. Uh, Jim is now on the hill. Peter comes to break. Can Peter catch up? Can Peter win this game and tie the match? Oops, well, the Greg Brown break didn't quite work out this time. And Jim seems surprised. He jumps, leaps to the table and does a quick survey. Well, uh, low ball looks really good. High ball has some uh, problem balls tied up near the top left end of the table and on the uh, uh, near, near the eight ball. Whoops, uh, Jim didn't quite kick out the six like he, uh, oh no, the four, four ball like he hoped, and uh, it's become a problem ball.
Uh, well, Jim almost gave Peter a helping hand. He almost broke out his problem balls for him, but uh, uh, okay, Jim tried to go for the breakout. He didn't quite do it. He tried to stun the cue ball into the uh, his pack of balls, but uh, anyways, uh, uh, Peter's uh, layout is much better than Jim's. Uh, Jim has uh, three problem balls on the bottom right, uh, the six. Uh, two and the four, I believe. They are screened by one of Peter's balls. Anyways, Peter decides to um, start sinking his balls. He still has uh, to. Um, he still has to uh, figure out what to do with these two problem balls, the the two balls that are stuck together. Anyway, so I think Peter figures that Jim's uh, layout is so bad, he can waste the shot. So, so Peter's going to waste the shot. He's going to break out his two problem balls. He, he calls a combo, but uh, obviously, the, you know, the, the combo is not going to work. But uh, uh, his two problem balls are broken out, and uh, they are highly shootable. So, but meanwhile. Jim doesn't have anything to shoot. He could bank the uh, one and sink it, but then he'll still have his three problem balls on the bottom of the table to deal with. So um, I'd say Jim's position is very bad. He he he, he needs a ball in hand really to uh, to win the game. Well, uh, Jim looks at the uh, one, decides that it's not worth going after because even if he does sink it, he still has to um, deal with his three problem balls. So maybe what Jim's going to do is shoot directly into his three problem balls and uh, break them out. And, and then hope Peter will not run out on him. Oh, oh, yeah, okay, well, he's going to kick into his pack. And hook Peter, which he does. Jim does the j Jim Jig. I call that the Jim Jig. Peter doesn't have a shot. He, he can barely see the edge of the green stripe ball. And uh, uh, Jim is hoping uh, when Peter misses, uh, I... Uh, Peter's going to give Jim um, uh, shots at his um, problem balls. Uh, Peter realizes this and uh, he's going to put right spin on this shot, clip his own ball and bring the cue balls up table where Jim doesn't can do anything with it. Eh, not bad. However, Peter did give himself a, a problem ball um, by doing that, but it's a small price to pay. Jim does not have a shot. This is becoming an interesting chess match, I'd say. Jim plays safe, and uh, unfortunately for him, he marries the... Uh, the four ball and the two ball together, they stuck very, very bad, and um, he'll need to break them out. So uh, Jim's position is actually getting worse. And Peter, meanwhile, he's got a runnable table. Can Peter run this table? He's going to go for his really ultra bad ball right now. Gets it in. Or maybe I should have taken the other ball instead. Oh well. 
Can Peter run out three balls to win? No. Got, got too anxious. I think he might have jumped up on that shot. He hit it too hard anyways. He was trying to get the cue balls to uh, get back into the middle of the table. But Anyways, uh, Jim does not have an enviable shot. He's going to... Uh, Ooh, he was trying to get position on for the breakout, but it uh, didn't quite work out. Peter almost hit himself. Jim concedes the game. <coughs> the score is now tied 2-2 and Jim breaks. Well, I know the outcome of this game, so uh, pointless for me to comment. I'll just say Jim run the, runs the table and takes the match. Damn it, damn it. Uh, I think I'll go into the bathroom and cry and shut the door so you won't hear me sobbing. Anyways, uh, great shooting, Jim. Um, it was a great match. Um, uh, I really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed the tournament. Although I confess I find uh, $20 uh, entry fee is a bit uh, steep for me. And I, I notice a lot of uh, lower-ranked players, C players, B players, they didn't quite show up. Uh, because I, I think uh, when, when the... The entry fee is twenty dollars. The prize money is um, probably huge, so that attracts uh, players from all over the island, all the really top-notch players, and they will kill the uh, the local the local guys. So, um, anyways, but um, it's still good a good match. Uh, uh, it, it's a real treat to play against really super good players like uh, Marianne. Uh, you, you do learn a lot from it, even though um, that the odds of winning uh, against them is uh, pretty low. Anyways, uh, good night and uh, thank you. Thanks, Darlene and uh, Rose Cantor for r running the tournament. It's It's a very enjoyable experience. Thank you and good night.